In this video, I'm going to show you a real financial use case for finance AI, and this is supplier risk analysis. So I'm going to show you how to turn data that looks like this, give that a prompt and turn it into a structured financial report. I'm doing this for supplier risk analysis, but it can be really lifted and shifted to any analysis you want to do based on the prompt. So let's get started. I'm starting with a Python notebook here. First, I'm gonna enter my key, which I've already done. So that's just your key over on OpenAI Playground. So you can just get that directly from OpenAI Playground. I have videos for that on the channel. I'm first gonna install OpenAI, and then I'm installing something called Alpha Vantage. And Alpha Vantage is just an API service where you can get the financial information of a company on the stock market for the last number of quarters. So I'm pulling this financial information from a company called Alpha Vantage. You can have 25 API requests per day, which in most cases is gonna to be totally fine, especially if you're just doing a POC or a use case. Um, and you just need to apply for the API here and you will get the Alpha Vantage API key and the ability to pull in financial information from the stock market. So I've just put in my API key here and I put in my ticker as Disney. So that's the stock price ticker as Disney. You can change this to Apple, Google, whatever you want to do. So what this will do is this will fetch the income statement and the balance sheet of a company uh, for as many as Alpha Vantage have in the system. So I'm just gonna run that here and this runs very fast and just gets that financial information. I'm gonna use a script down here to format that information in a way that the API likes. And you can just use this script I spent a while with an LLM putting this together, but it pulls out the data in this format here. So what you have here is you have your physical period and then you have all your financial information. So that's income statement and balance sheet in one. I've picked four quarters here and I've done that by just limiting the income statement and balance sheet to four quarters and then sticking them together. And then what I wanna do is I want to create a prompt. You're a CPA employed in a finance function tasked with assessing supplier risk. So what I'm doing here is I'm seeing from the point of view of my company, is there any risk with continuing on uh, for this supplier or even increasing reliance on this supplier? So the task I'm giving it is I've told it I've given it four quarters of information. I wanted to compare the financials, noting any significant movements or trends, evaluate the implications of these movements for the company's financial health. And I'm asking from the perspective of a company receiving services from this company, what are the key risks based on what you've gathered just from the financials? Uh, I'm deciding whether the team need to investigate the supplier for further risk backed up by the financials. I've also asked it for specific things from the output. So I want to ensure that the analysis reflects specific movements across the quarters and the output should strictly adhere to the data provided, avoiding assumptions or inferences not directly supported by the numbers. I have my data. I'm putting that data in as prompt here. So basically, that's the system message, and then the user message is prompt, and prompt is going to be outstring, which is this lovely bit of financial data up here. So I'm going to run this and I just assign it to a variable called output and this variable is running now. So that'll just assign whatever's coming out into a variable. And then with this Jupyter notebook displaying that markdown from the output. So it means this doesn't come out with highly formatted text. This comes out as the GPT wanted us to see it. And what we're getting out here is firstly a table of the key figures. So I can just quickly assess is there anything weird going on with this company? And I, I can see kind of the net income is very up and down, but very down in the latest quarter. And then really it just goes through the key metrics and summarizes them here. But most importantly, the key risks and implications for me as someone receiving services from this company, revenue and profitability fluctuations, the debt levels, the operation efficiency and the asset management. It's taken these and given me a recommendation. It's recommend that the team investigate the supplier further for risk. That's really all I wanted to get for this. I wanna put a thousand suppliers through and see, right, which suppliers do we have to go into further? Gen AI at the moment should always be your starting point, not your ending point, but it's given me a good reason why I should investigate this company. I think this is a really nice functionality and has a lot of different applications across finance. The code for this is sitting out of my GitHub. You're free to use it and free to ask any questions down below. Hope you found that useful. Follow for more.